All right, Workout Worthy, welcome to Amazing Abs. This is a five minute complete core workout that's going to lengthen, strengthen, tone, and condition all of the muscles in your midsection. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and come back. Every day for 31 days, I am posting a five minute core workout that you can do anytime, anywhere. Your exercise does not need to be extreme, but you do need to be consistent. So this is a great opportunity for you to focus on you. Now, every class is five minutes, five different exercises, one minute intervals. So you go at your own pace, you choose your own option, and you go through your own range of motion. These workouts are designed for you. So today's workout, we're gonna start with enough room in front of you to walk out and to walk back. This is our starting and our finishing position for what's called an inchworm. Now, depending on how strong your hamstrings are feeling today, you might need to soften your knees, you might need to be able to keep your legs straight. So here we go, 60 seconds. We're gonna reach to the floor. Remember, soften your knees if you need to. Walk out, three presses to a high plank. You can stay on your toes or modify to your knees. Then we're gonna walk back, three presses and stand. If you need to soften your knees more, that is more than fine. Walking out, high plank on your toes or on your knees, walking in. Now, if you have a little bit more range of motion, a little bit more flexibility, you can keep your legs straight as you reach down. Walking out to a plank, nice long lines, walking back, inchworms. Going at your own pace, you might do two, you might do 10, you might do 20. It's a 60 second interval. I always alternate which arm I start with, walking out to plank, right arm works first, and then the next time through, left arm works first. Belly is sucking up towards your spine, flexing through those core muscles. We've got five more seconds, and we're gonna finish the inchworm on our mat. So bring it down to the floor, from your plank, come on to all fours. Minute two, you can lift to a bear, holding. You can set your knees down and lift them up as you're able, or you can add a bear crawl. Here we go, 60 seconds. Nice neutral spine from our tailbone through the crown of our head. Shoulders stay low and relaxed. Our arms are straight, but our elbows are soft, so we're not locking the elbow joint. Rib cage is pulled down, belly button steps up towards your spine. Breathing. No holding our breath. This minute doesn't all have to be the same. So maybe you do some bear crawls, and then maybe you do some holds. If you need to set your knees down, go right ahead and join back in when you're ready. Five, four, three, two, and one. Next exercise, bird dog. Neutral spine, all fours. We're gonna bring one arm, one leg, one arm, one leg, here we go. 60 seconds. Reaching to the wall in front of you, wall behind you. So we don't want to arch our back. We're not reaching up towards the ceiling. Belly button sucking up towards our spine, flexing through our core. Reach and lower, reach and lower. Alternating sides. You're gonna feel your body shift as you switch sides, but try to minimize the actual movement. You have to stabilize differently, but we don't want to lean, we don't want to tilt, we don't want to turn. Reach, reach. We've got 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic, we have two exercises left. We are gonna come on to our sit bones. If a basic crunch is more comfortable, you can keep your feet in this more traditional position with your feet down, knees together. If you can bring your legs out to a butterfly, this is gonna add to the challenge. It's gonna take your hip flexors out of the assistance. Fingertips can stay behind your ears and you can do a basic crunch. 
Now, if you want more, you can reach your arms overhead, and then with a huge range of motion, you can do a full <coughs> sit up all the way up. Here we go. 60 seconds, butterfly sit ups. Make this what you need. So choose the option, the range of motion, and the speed that works for you. I am usually more of a crunch exerciser. I like those little small isolating crunches, but this full sit up, especially with this butterfly for our legs, changes the challenge and it is worth it. Don't worry about your speed. Nice and smooth, nice and strong. We're past halfway. Keep breathing. Belly is sucking in towards our spine and at any time, if you want a smaller lever, you can bring your arms down. You can keep your fingertips behind your head and you do not need to do that full sit up if you prefer a crunch. Five, four, three, two, last exercise. Dead bug, I love these. We're gonna keep a neutral spine, legs come up, arms come up, and then opposite arm, opposite leg. Here we go, final minute. Not a sprint, moving fast enough is a challenge, not so fast we use momentum. Neck is long and lean, shoulders are low and relaxed, breathing. Rib cage is pulled down, abs are tight. As low as you can get to the floor without touching and without arching our back. So if you feel any strain, make your movement smaller, make your movement slower, listen to your body. This is your challenge. We've got 15 seconds. Dead bug, our last exercise for today's five minute core workout. Long neck, strong core. Five, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic. Reach your arms overhead. Extend your legs out straight. Couple nice deep breaths. Bending your knees, holding your hamstrings, round up nice and slow. Let's put our hands on our shins. We're gonna gently round and release. Gently round and release. Fantastic job, Workout Worthy. That was our five minute amazing ab workout for today. If you are following along, today is day number eight. If you are just starting, congratulations. Keep going. Subscribe to this channel, like this video, and come back every day. Five minutes, you can do anytime, anywhere to focus on your core.